What's going on guys, I am the Walrus Jedi, and in today's video, I will finally be reviewing Heir to the Empire. So if you like this kind of video, and you want to see more book reviews and the rest of the Throne Trilogy in the future, then please consider liking and subscribing and hitting the notification bell. There, there will be spoilers for this book, so consider that your warning. So Heir to the Empire by Timothy Zahn was published by Bantam Spectra, May 1991. And it is set 9 ABY, or 9 years after the Battle of Yavin. So the Dramatis Personae, you have Luke Skywalker, Han Solo, Leia Organa Solo, Chewbacca, Lando Calrissian, C-3PO, and R2-D2. And then you have Talon Card, who, he's a human, and he's a leader of a smuggler organization, Mara Jade. She is a human, and she's Card's second-in-command. Grand Admiral Thrawn, he is a Chiss, and the de facto leader of the Empire at this time, Captain Gilad Pelion, he is a human, and he's the captain of the Imperial Star Destroyer Chimera. Then you have Joris Sabaoth, he is a human and a Jedi Master, on to Heir to the Empire. Grand Admiral Thrawn and Captain Pelion put into motion a nearly unbeatable plan to take out the New Republic, or as they still call them, rebels. They go to the planet Wayland to find Mount Tantus, where the Emperor had stored mysterious tech that Thrawn wants to use. They use Salamiri to block the Force as the guardian of Mount Tantus is a dark Jedi, Joris Sabaoth. But Joris Sabaoth had been bested by the current guardian, which is actually his clone, Jorus Sabaoth. They do manage to get him to join them by promising to give Sabaoth, Luke, Leia, and her unborn twins, as he wants Jedi to boss around, I guess. Uh, we'll see in later books. Han and Leia go to a few planets for diplomatic missions for the New Republic, but they are attacked by Nogri, and some of these teams are sent by Thrawn to capture them. Although they do fend them off, they decide that Leia needs to go into hiding, so her and Chewie go to Kashyyyk, while Han and Lando go to find Talon Card. Luke goes back to Dagobah to investigate the Dark Side Cave. He finds a device, and he goes to Lando to find out what it is. Whilst going to the planet where Sabaoth is, Luke's X-Wing is ambushed by Thrawn, but Luke manages to break the lock the tractor beam has on his X-Wing and goes to light speed. However, it isn't very far when Luke's X-Wing stops, as the hyperdrive is damaged due to the previous encounter. Luke and R2 do try to fix it, but it's beyond what they can do in the middle of space. That's when Talon Card's ship, the Wild Card, arrives and saves Skywalker. On Mirker, at Card's smuggler base, Luke is a prisoner, but he does manage to escape while Card is entertaining Han and Lando, as they want to talk to him about some other stuff. Mara Jade goes after Luke, they crash in the forest, and they have to rely on each other to survive which is not easy as Mara Jade wants to kill Luke as she believes he killed the Emperor, her master, for she is the Emperor's hand. They avoid the Vornskers, but are captured by Imperials sent by Thrawn. After a short time, Luke, Mara, and R2 are rescued by Han, Lando, and some of Card's men. Leia is attacked on Kashyyyk by another team of Nogri. She, Chewie, and some of the other Wookiees fend them off and capture one of them, and when Leia interrogates the Nogri, she finds out that the Nogri served Darth Vader and that they revered him as they believe he saved their, them and their planet. So they revere Leia as Lady Vader. She makes a deal to visit the Nogri's homeworld to help them. Luke, Han, and Lando go to Sluis Van to get Lando medical attention and repair, and repair Luke's X-Wing. But they arrive when Thrawn has set into motion his plan to attack the Sluice Van shipyards, and he uses the stolen mull machines that he stole from Lando to try to take uh, the ships that are because there's loads of ships at the Sluice Van shipyards uh, to grow his fleet. But our heroes see too that they don't get the ships. However, they sustain a lot of damage. So while the Empire doesn't gain any of the ships, the New Republic basically 
has a lot of repairing to do. So it's it's not the greatest victory, but at least the Empire is not stronger. Leia calls Han and tells him that he and Luke need to get to Coruscant as soon as possible, as Admiral Akbar has been arrested on grounds of treason by order of fellow New Republic Counselor Borsk Falia, as he seeks Akbar's position, and that is where the book ends. What I liked. The main characters, so Luke, Han, Leia, Lando, uh, the droids, Chewie, are well written and they feel like they do in the movies. This feels like a continuation of the movies which is really good grand admiral thrawn is a great compelling villain that threatens the new republic like he's a credible threat he's not this basically kind of incompetent idiot that somehow is in charge of the imperials no he's very cunning and very intelligent he studies art and that's how he learns about tactics and things like that a very compelling villain I can't wait to get more of Sabaoth and, and Luke interacting with him. Like I, I'm intrigued to see how that'll go down. Uh, going back to Dagobah was pretty cool. That was kind of nice. You go back and, you know, Yoda's hut is kind of overgrown and it's not much of a hut anymore. It's, you know, the swamp has taken it back. So that was kind of interesting. And going to Kashyyyk was, was it's pretty cool. Even though there, uh, not a lot is done on Kashyyyk. It's, it's still nice to go there. And uh, yeah, Mara Jade is a really intriguing character. So I look forward to seeing where that leads. Well, I I know that her and Luke get married. But, you know, I, I'm interested to see how she goes from hating Luke to loving Luke. So that'll be an interesting thing to see. And I, I really hope that they do go to the Nogri homeworld uh, at some point in this series. Because I really want to see that. Well, read about it. Uh, I think that'd be really cool. So I, they have to. And now what I didn't like. There really is only one thing uh, that I didn't like. And it's at the beginning in the book. Well, towards the beginning. It's not the very, very beginning. But yeah. Luke is on Coruscant. And Obi-Wan tells, tells him that uh, he must move on to wherever, the, wherever people go when they die in Star Wars. And basically saying goodbye. I loved you as a son and a student and all that stuff. And and um, yeah, and, th- and that's just a shame because yeah, does this mean that there are no Force ghosts anymore? Because well, so Obi Wan's gone. So what about Anakin? What about Yoda? Obviously, they haven't been dead as long. Obi Wan's been dead for a little while, but yeah, like is is Anakin still able to appear? Is Yoda still able to appear? I don't know. Um, they really haven't done anything like. The Force Ghosts haven't done anything. They haven't... Yeah, so, I mean, what's the point of them? I thought the whole point of the Force Ghost stuff was so they could, like, help teach. Like, help Luke. Like, to me, that's the whole point of the Force Ghosts. Otherwise, oh, great, they're there. So you could have them at the scene of... At the end of Return of the Jedi, and that's about it. There's very limited interactions with them, so... That's a shame. Well, I'm going to give this book a 9.5 out of 10. I I really enjoyed it. I can see why people are always recommending this book as a starting point for the Expanded Universe or Legends. It's, it's a good starting point, especially if you're wanting more Han, Luke, and Leia and you want to know what happened to them post-Return of the Jedi. It's a phenomenal book, and you can't go wrong with this book to start your EU journey. It really should have been a movie like this. This is movie material, and you know, I've, I've read several EU books, and not every one of them have felt like, oh, this needs to be a movie. It's really been this, and uh, Shadows of the Empire, probably the Darth Bane stuff, that's probably all that's like movie. Although some of the books, you know, are like, oh, this would make a good TV show, so. But yeah, anyways, that's beside the point. This is the true sequel trilogy. If you were dissatisfied with the Disney garbage that they crapped out in the past few years. This this is this should scratch your itch. This should be like, oh yeah, this is this is much more what I wanted. Because it still introduces new characters, but we also follow Han Luke and Leia, you know, the, the characters that you want to see more of. You can check out my review of Rogue Squadron on the top left right now and 
On the bottom left is my Tatooine Ghost review. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and until next time, thank you very much for watching.